So keep on walking. Again, I dedicate this to the New World Order and everybody that wants to trample our rights. We didn't start this fight, but you know what? We're sure as hell gonna finish it. Gotta love it. This song's for you, my little New World Order pretties. I said I get into the whole First Amendment thing, and I will. I'm going to start that now and then go a little bit in the next hour. Then we have some uh, guests coming. They're going to be in studio with us. One of them is a constitutional lawyer, and the other is one of the victims. That is legal gun confiscated by the state police. Listen, slaves don't show those out in public. Might give other slaves an idea they're not slaves. They might think they can have a gun, too. And then that means the system's out of a job, and how's the state police going to be doing proctology exams on all the pretty girls, whether they be pretty black ladies or pretty blonde-haired, blue-eyed white ladies? Yeah, the whole country, they even got foreign travel advisories about coming to Texas because they do proctology exams on the side of the highway now here. But that's freedom. We ought to put that on the Texas flag, you know. I bet one of my great-great-great-great-grandpappies who raised Colonel Travis's son after Colonel Travis got killed I bet they would have, uh, if they heard, you know, one day in the future, there'll be flying airplanes in the sky and there'll be men wearing cowboy hats that pull your family over and one glove, two women, four orifices. That ought to be the Texas flag. I'm telling you, the image of a woman bent over a car with a state trooper right there with flies all over him and a, <laughs> and a filthy glove. I just... All I can do is illustrate the insanity by illustrating it. They're sitting there, the state police, on video going, here is the law. It is legal to have this firearm. They go, we do not care about the law. It's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, let me just ask the police something. Do you think you're, you're being given all this unconstitutional power just because the system cares about us? No, you're being given this because criminals run the system and they want to get you ready for a war with the American people. The globalists are ending our prosperity. Everybody that works for the system should figure that out and realize FEMA demonizes the founding fathers, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, the, the Homeland Security publicly for a decade or more has trained the police this that's now all public with straight faces the department of defense teaches now not just officers but the enlisted this broke in judicial watch two weeks ago and was on drudge for two days and got millions of readers i know it was our news article linked to them so we saw the millions of people come in so two million people in a couple of days read that i know and folks are upset because it actually says george washington would not be welcome in today's army I want that to sink in. Folks that weren't in the Army probably don't know much history or Army history, but anybody who's in the Army, one of the first things you get taught at boot camp, I'm told, uh, is about George Washington. And why would you be taught about George Washington? He's not just the founder of our country. He's not just the first president. He's something else. Who is George Washington? Who is George Washington, folks? Are you thinking out there? CJ, let me ask you in the control room, who is George Washington? Why would they teach at boot camp the first week you're there about George Washington? Why would they do that? Because he's the founder of the U.S. Army. Right, and he represents... The, absolutely, and then John Paul Jones is, is the founder of the, uh, of the Navy. But the whole issue is, is that George Washington is the founder of the U.S. Army. And he's not welcome in today's army. And you know why he's not welcome in today's army? Because today's army is run by foreign banks and is occupied. And, and, and I'll tell you what else isn't welcome in today's federal government. Anything Americana, anything freedom-based, anything not completely twisted. And now let me start and give you a little uh, introduction to what we're going to be covering in the first part of the next hour. Here is the article in front of me. Lois Lerner's own words. Emails undercut official IRS story on political targeting. And she goes on to say in these emails that are confirmed from February 2011, to say that, go read it, the Tea Party is dangerous and scary and must be shut down. 
Well, yeah, that's what all the federal training manuals say. My God, these people talk about small government, liberty, the family, the Second Amendment, and worst of all, Jesus Christ. Whoa, sounds pretty nasty to me. Sounds pretty dangerous. People, you know, people with the lowest crime rate statistically, I've seen national studies out on the average Tea Partier, lowest crime rate group, and these are really bad people. Well, yeah, if you run Akern and the Chicago Mafia, I bet millions of people organizing around liberty, common sense, and due process, I bet justice sounds pretty scary, don't you? So you need to call it racist, terrorist, everything else you can, and then have the federal government, you know how illegal this is? If they get away with this, folks, this is unprecedented, targeting people politically. They went after pro-life groups. You can look this up. We've played the audio here at the seminars and said to them, because the pro-life groups taped this, we're going to arrest you for tax fraud unless you stop praying at public events where anyone can hear you, and you need to stop protesting at abortion clinics. The IRS has no jurisdiction inside of religion, First Amendment. Plus, it wasn't around until 1913 anyways. It's a private collection agency for the Federal Reserve. Learn about that. That's a fact, folks, not, a, not some pipe dream here. Okay, these, uh, we deal in facts here. They're stubborn things. Now, this is what's more interesting. Earlier this year in the IRS hearings, I'm going to do a news piece on this Monday. Uh, we got busy Friday, but I'm going to go back. We'll just type it in now. IRS, Lois Lerner testifies they did not target Tea Party. And you'll get the exact date on C-SPAN. You'll get news. What was it, six months ago? I mean, just type. Yeah, it was six months ago, but we've got a skeleton crew today, only three guys. But search engine that for me so I can get people an actual date here. But you all know she said it. Uh, the Fast and Furious kingpin uh, Holder said it. Uh, they all said, ridiculous, we don't target anybody. Folks, it, it's now come out. They targeted libertarian, conservative, veterans, uh, rights groups to get veterans funding of, that they deserve, their health care, um, gun groups, uh, Christian groups, First Amendment groups, basically any type of American activity. This is, this is like, no exaggeration, 50 times worse than the Red Scare and McCarthyism where they just pressured corporations to blackball people and stuff. This is actually going and arresting and harassing and auditing and telling people what they can pray. I, I mean, this is naked, on steroids, authoritarianism. And there it is. Lois Lerner pleads the fifth. The IRS probes aren't just potential. Yeah, but see, here's the deal. She pled the fifth, but then went on to say, I plead the fifth. So it wouldn't, I guess she thought be in record, but lawyers pointed out it would be. And then said she didn't do it. I remember playing the clip. The fifth means you plead the fifth for self-incrimination and then shut up. Everything you say after that is admissible. Do you understand that, you witch? Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. I cannot... I cannot be calm... when everybody else is being calm and criminals are engaging in open political persecution, just like we saw in communist China, communist Russia, communist East Germany, fascist Germany, Fidel Castro's Cuba, the list goes on and on. And I sit here watching classical tyranny unfold. I'm gonna get to it in the next segment, break it all down. This is kind of a no man's land segment. We're gonna be getting rid of it soon and just making the next segment longer going to a real standard radio clock, but the frustration is, is that it's such a dumbed down public. Not even so much dumbed down, just, just, just conditioned to accept this, that they think it's weird when you get upset, some of them, about being run over. And I think that's because they're upset with the American spirit or just a basic spirit of liberty for that matter. I, um, went tubing down in San Marcos this morning with one of my friends and our children and actually came up here about an hour before the show. They're actually up here today. And I jumped in 
and my sunglasses fell off. And there was a guy there with his kids with fins on who was picking up sunglasses. And he went, come on, kids, let's get them. Before they stir up the water, he was watching me like a predator. And they, it was him and his like 10, 13, look like your old daughters. And they shot right by us. And I figured out my glasses were gone and watched him about 50 yards away by then putting sunglasses in a bag he had of sunglasses. Because we were out there at like 10 in the morning. So people go at like 10 in the morning to find all the sunglasses. It's a business. And I was sure that he just gotten my sunglasses because I remember he jumped in and shot right past me when my glasses had fallen off and I was going to get goggles and he got my little $100 pair of, uh, of Oakley's. I mean, not that big of a deal. It was interesting to watch him, though, like a river bird uh, predator because the animals are so, so accustomed to humans down there. They're not domesticated. They are acclimated that we're not a threat. But we saw a big red-tailed hawk, the closest I've ever seen one in the wild, 10 feet above us sitting on a branch of a tree going down the river. Looks like Brazil or something on the great rainforest or going down the Amazon. And I saw a big blue heron up, right up close, like 10 feet away, closest I've ever been to a blue heron. I've tubed down there many times. And he had his beak open, sitting there watching fish and creeping up and eating them. And that guy watching me, waiting for all of us to jump in and lose our sunglasses, and then shooting off with his daughters, like a well-trained gypsy of old or something, to get my glasses. And then I could look at 50 yards and see him looking back, stick them in a bag full of other ones. As it's carrying him by the current, he goes, hurry, before he gets stirred up and shoots out to get him. And then I'm like, oh, I'll get my glasses. He's already gone. And I didn't even get mad at the guy. It was realizing I'm somebody who goes down there maybe twice a year. He obviously lived down there, gets sunglasses all day. That's a whole industry down there with thousands a day going through it. Wallets, jewelry, you name it. And he was like a blue heron. I was a fish. But see, I am like a blue heron trying to teach fish how to not be eaten, basically. And if people would just become aware, you know, at least I recognize that guy. I'm about 90% sure he got my glasses. In fact, I'm pretty much 100%, but I'll just say 90%. At least I recognized, oh, that's why they're not here anymore in crystal clear water. Because he shot off as soon as he saw me come up without him. I wonder why he looked right at me and went, come on, girls, before they stir it up. With a predatory look, swam right by me, stopped. I'm going, oh, my glasses. I go get my goggles, come back, they're gone, and then see him putting them in his bag down there. And I didn't chase after him giving my glasses back. I was like, thank you for that lesson, my friend. That was a very valuable lesson I learned today. Have floaties on your glasses.